everybody, welcome back to another Don't Star tutorial, where today we'll be taking a look at Maxwell Shadows. This was requested pretty heavily, so let's get right into it. This video will be split into two sections, Don't Star Single Player and Don't Star Multiplayer. The reason for this is because Maxwell Shadows actually function differently between the two versions of the game. The time links will be available in the description of the video, so you can simply skip to the part that you wish to know about. Let's start off with Don't Starve Single Player. Maxwell's special power in the game is the Codex Umbra, an infinite durability book on dark magics that's able to summon Maxwell's shadow puppets. To create one shadow puppet, you need to simply right click on the Codex Umbra. These are shadow creatures of Maxwell that, whilst active, will aid Maxwell in combat, doing 40 damage per hit, as well as aid him in cutting trees and mining rocks. Upon summoning one shadow puppet, Maxwell will lose 15 health, along with 55 of his maximum sanity. In Don't Starve Single Player, the shadow puppets are universal, meaning that one puppet can do all chores including chopping trees, and mining. Maxwell's shadows are great for speeding up chore work. Not only will they be able to help you with chores, but will also fight with you and protect you in combat. Be warned, however, as they have low health points of 75 and can die quickly. Let's move on to Don't Starve Multiplayer. In Don't Starve Together, Maxwell will not spawn with his usual shadow armor and sword. Instead, he will start off with the Codex Umbra, along with 6 Nightmare Fuel. Here, the Codex Umbra functions differently. Whereas before you were able to simply spawn puppets just by right-clicking on the book, it now functions as a crafting station. Place the Codex Umbra on the floor, and it will start to hover. New Shadow Puppet recipes will now appear in the Shadow tab whenever you're near the Codex Umbra. Shadow Puppets must now be crafted into specific versions of the puppets, each only able to do one chore that you choose. If you were to have destroyed the Codex Umbra in the single-player version, you would have the book returned in your inventory if the world was reloaded. Now, the book must be crafted if it was destroyed or lost. The crafting recipe for the book is 2 papyrus, 2 nightmare fuel, and 50 of your health, so be careful not to lose it. In Don't Starve Together, the shadow puppets must now be crafted near the Codex Umbra. Let's go over the recipes. Each puppet will require at least 2 nightmare fuel. Depending on the puppet that you wish to craft, you will also have to sacrifice some of your maximum sanity. Finally, each puppet will require the tool that it will use to do its chore. There are four types of puppets available. The Shadow Logger, which will chop the nearest tree next to the player. The Shadow Miner, which will mine the rocks closest to the player. The Shadow Digger, which digs up stumps or graves closest to the player. Finally, the Shadow Duelist, which defends the player from attacks, as well as attack the player's target. The 
The Shadow Duelist is the only puppet that can naturally regenerate health. The other puppets are not able to do so. Due to the maximum sanity loss, you're only able to craft a limited amount of puppets. You can either have 4 Harvesters, 1 Duelist and 2 Harvesters, or 2 Duelists and 1 Harvester. This is the most dangerous one. If you wish to destroy a puppet, you need to simply control left click on the puppet with your hands or any tool, and the puppet will die in one hit, giving you back your maximum sanity that took to make that puppet. And that is how Maxwell's shadow puppets work. The next time you use Maxwell's Codex Armbar in the shadows, you'll know exactly what to do. Thank you very much once again for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Until then!